ranch. Its public facing name is Moraz Family Farms and we grow avocados, coffee, bananas, passion fruit. And I purchased this farm in 2004, not knowing anything about agriculture really, I just wanted to live out in the country. But thanks to climate change awareness, to the good food movement, people being more interested in where their food comes from, I realized that this aging avocado grove that I had purchased had so much life left in it. And so some of my best friends and I just dove in and that's what we've been really working hard to do is cover the earth and generate more food and additionally more awareness on how to grow organically and regeneratively. Growing has done for me what I guess maybe the music industry didn't which was sort of cultivate patience. You plant the tree and you know that it's going to take five to seven years before it even reaches an age where it's going to start to bear fruit and then you know you can shape that tree and grow that tree for decades maybe longer than the humans going to live and I really like that it kind of taught me a little bit about legacy that some trees you plant not for yourself but for future generations that are going to stumble upon these hills and go wow look at this tree so in 2011 I launched Jason Mraz Foundation which uh, shines for inclusive arts education and the advancement of equality we largely write checks for grants and scholarships so that inclusive arts programming can be tuition free for the students that are going to these programs for instrumentation, singing, dancing, acting. We try to pair up mostly with inclusive arts education so that's any community that has been uh, treated as second class or underserved and we would actually create programs where we would pair schools and kids together to increase acceptance, compassion, empathy while mixing art forms. And so that way it kind of levels the playing field for everyone. I started the foundation because I came up through after school programs, singing, dancing, acting, wherever my creative interests were, were taking me. My mom made me aware that my involvement in after school programs was a scholarship based on donors that had been generous to those organizations. And that's when it clicked. And so once I started to have success in music, I, I decided I want to give back to the very same programs that gave me the tools and skills and opportunities that helped create who I am. And I relate to the kids that are showing up at these after-school programs and these kids that want to learn music production or singing or instrumentation or just, or just new ways of expressing themselves or giving permission to express themselves. And I know too that I may not be on stage for the rest of my life, but I want the stages to be filled and I want to be entertained by the next generation of artists as well.